Hey guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today I wanted to share with you some products that I would like to use up, but that are not in an official project pan. I'm probably gonna call this like products I'm unofficially panning or something like that. I actually think that this video, this is a video idea that kind of went around about a year ago, and I think it was Lisa Stevens who started this video, and I kind of kept it in the back of my mind for a while, and I actually mentioned it in my most recent Shop My Stash makeup basket video, um, where I was talking about a product that I was like, I'm kind of trying to use this up even though it's not in a project pan, I could probably do a video, like an unofficial project pan video if you guys were interested, and several of you guys said that you would like to see that, so I thought I would go ahead and film it, I thought it would be kind of a fun way to share with you some products that I'm sort of in the back of my mind trying to finish off even though I don't have them in a project pan for whatever reason. Maybe it just doesn't make sense to put them in a project because I would just use them up naturally anyway. But maybe some of these will actually end up being in a project pan eventually, who knows. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. One product that I've been kind of sort of trying to use up is this Milani Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder. I have it in the shade Fair. Um, the reason it's not in a project pan is because this is the only pressed setting powder face powder that I have in my collection, so I'm like, well, I'm going to use it up anyway, so I don't really feel the need to put it in a project, but this is just not really my favorite formula for a face powder. It can tend to look kind of heavy and dry. Um, I used to fly through face powders, like, I think I've had this for over a year, and there was a time when it would not have taken me this long to use up one face powder especially it being the only one in my collection. But lately, like today, I didn't even set my face with powder except for on my under eyes, but I used a different powder for my under eyes. And, you know, when I do use it, I use usually a very light amount of it. I kind of might target it more just in my T-zone instead of putting it all over my face. And um, this is a powder that can kind of just look a little bit heavy, especially when it's over a foundation. But lately I've actually been using it a lot as a powder foundation because it does have a good bit of coverage to it. And I actually really enjoy it that way. I don't find that it looks heavy that way because it's not on top of a foundation. Um, it's just on its own and that way it does look a little bit more natural. So, um, but I do have quite a bit of pan showing on this and I probably will have to repress it soon. But this is just something that I'm sort of trying to like speed up the process of using up because I'd like to just try something else and move on but it's it's definitely usable like I'm still able to make it work so I'm not I, I, I can't justify decluttering it but yeah that's one of those products that I'm you know trying to hopefully use up soon the product that kind of started this video was the first aid beauty ultra repair lip therapy this I've already cut open and <laughs> now that I've cut it open I'm like reluctant to use it because it's just kind of kind of grosses me out having to stick my finger in there um, I really could probably put it into like a travel like container or something, but I don't really have anything like that and I don't want to go to the trouble of buying one just for this, so um, I'm just kind of trying to push myself to use this up before it really like dries out in there. But this is a really nice lip balm, you'll hear my thoughts on it in probably an empties video, hopefully this coming empties video. I really would like to get this used up by the end of this month, so that's one of those things that I'm like, okay, let's, let's hurry up and use this up because it's gonna get gross if I don't. Next product that I'm unofficially panning is the e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Natural Glow Face Palette. I'm really mostly just focusing on trying to finish up the bronzer and the highlight. There's really no hope on the blushes. Um, honestly, I'll probably end up decluttering this once the bronzer and the highlight are done because these two blushes aren't particularly special to me. They're nice to have when I'm traveling. It's nice to have all those things in one palette, but um, I use bronzers and highlighters at a much different rate than I, than I use up blushes. So anyway, I've already repressed both the highlighter and the bronzer and I've actually hit pan again on the highlighter. Um, and I really I really love both of those. I, I almost wish they were just in a duo so I didn't feel like I was wasting the blushes. But the highlighter is really subtle um, but kind of sneaky. Like it, it'll sneak up on you. Like you think it's not showing up and then you kind of look in the mirror and you're like, oh wow. like. I'm definitely wearing highlighter. Um, and the bronzer is really nice because it's matte. It's kind of a light bronzer, but it's not overly orange, like a lot of light bronzers are. Um, and it's just it's just a solid bronzer. So it's probably my favorite bronzer that I have in my collection right now. I am kind of hoping to use those two things up eventually, especially because now I'm not focusing so much on the Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Duo because I finished up the highlighter. So now this has like been my go-to highlighter. Um, and I anticipate once I finish up that 
the contour in that duo, this is going to be like what I reach for all the time. So maybe this will end up in a project pan later on this year. A hair product that I'm sort of unofficially panning, and this actually might end up in, in an official project pan eventually because it's one of those things that I kind of forget to use, but I really like when I do use it and I don't want to just neglect it, but this is the Mineral Fusion Beach Hair Texture Spray. I'm wearing it today and I really just like what it does for my hair. It just, like, like it says, it just kind of adds a little bit of texture. Um, I don't know, I feel like when I spritz this in my hair, my hair just instantly looks a little bit better than it did before. So um, I'm a little bit more than halfway done with this and I don't know, I'd like to just continue making a point to use it because I like when I do use it and there's no reason for me not to use it um, and I would like to just see some more progress on this so this actually might end up in a project pan eventually but maybe not I don't know we'll see the last two things that are that I'm sort of unofficially panning slash just kind of trying to remember to use and hopefully use up in a reasonable time frame. Uh, one of them is the, these are both lip products, one of them is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. So I've had this I think since last September, so a little bit over six months. And this is like one of my favorite lip products that I own. I love wearing it. It's just a, it's just like the perfect pinky nude gloss. It's definitely getting harder to like get it out of there. I'm having to kind of scrape the sides a little bit which kind of is what gave me the momentum to be like thinking, okay, I think I'd like to actually try to use this up probably in 2019 at some point. Um, I don't have it in a project pan right now because I guess I don't really feel the need to. Like I use it often enough and I don't want to push myself to use it more often than I, than I already use it naturally. But um, it's just so easy to throw on and I don't know, I think I would really like to finish this off soon because I definitely don't want to keep lip glosses around for too long. I want to kind of you know, they can get kind of gross with the doe foot applicator, so I would like to kind of cycle this out of my collection. I'll probably end up repurchasing a fresh one once it's used up, but um, that's kind of something I'm, I'm trying to trying to hopefully use up pretty soon. And then lastly, we have the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in the shade Rose Crush. So I love Jordana's lip liner formula. I've used up the one in the shade Tawny before, and I actually find that lip liners are pretty easy for me to go through once I put my mind to it. So this is kind of just a peachy pink, actually goes really nicely with the NYX Butter Gloss. I wore that combo the other day. Um, and I've just been wearing this a lot more in the spring because it's a very springy pink color. But I realized that I've had this for quite a while. Can't remember exactly since when, but um, there's really not that much left. And I think that I would just like to, for one thing, just like remember to use it more because Sometimes I just forget to use it, but it is a really pretty color um, and two because I would like to use it up pretty soon because I, I just I've had it for a long time. So once I use up the Milani lip liner in Spice, which is in my project pan, that one's getting really tiny, I probably will throw this into my project pan. I just don't really want to have two liners in my project pan at once, although maybe that wouldn't be a bad thing. I don't know. We'll see. So those are all the products that I'm kind of unofficially panning right now just kind of I've got them sort of on this like unofficial list of products that I'm trying to use up at some point soon hopefully you'll see some of these things in some upcoming empties videos if they don't end up in a project pan before that but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel I'll also link all of my project pan videos down below if you would like to watch some official project pans um, and I will talk to you guys next time